Welcome to our channel, Circuits Analytica. In this video, we will be discussing about 10 multiple choice questions from the subject Linear Integrated Circuits. The input impedance of an ideal op amp is infinite. Correct answer is option number 1. Ratio of common mode gain to differential mode gain is 1 by CMRR or CMRR raised to minus 1. Correct answer is option number 2. CMRR common mode rejection ratio is defined as the ratio of differential mode gain to common mode gain. So the correct answer is. 1 by CMRR or CMRR raised to minus 1. Correct answer is option number 2. Select the appropriate value of output resistance of an op amp. Correct answer is option number 2. Maximum rate of change of output voltage with respect to time is defined as slew rate. So the correct answer is option number 1. Offset current of an ideal op amp is 0. So the correct answer is option number 2. In an inverting amplifier, if resistance connected between inverting input and input signal is 1K and resistance connected between Output and inverting input is 10k. Gain of the inverting amplifier is minus 10. So the correct answer is option number 4. For an inverting amplifier, gain is defined as the ratio of minus RF divided by R1. So in this question, RF is equal to 10k and R1 is equal to 1k. Therefore, correct answer is minus 10. The minimum value of gain of a non-inverting amplifier in closed loop is unity. So the gain of a non-inverting amplifier is given as 1 plus Rf divided by R1. So if Rf is equal to 0 and R1 is equal to infinity, the gain is equal to 1. The minimum value of gain of a non-inverting amplifier in closed loop is unity. So the correct answer is option number 1. The bandwidth of an ideal op amp is infinite. So the correct answer is option number 3. The maximum output voltage swing of an op amp with biasing voltage plus or minus 15 volt is less than 30 volt. So the correct answer is option number 3. For an operational amplifier, the output voltage swings between plus Vsat and minus Vsat, where Vsat is always less than Vcc magnitude of VCC or magnitude of VEE. So here the value of VCC and VEE is 15 volt. So output voltage swing will be always less than plus 15 minus minus 15. So the output voltage swing is always less than 30 volt. The term virtual ground is valid for an inverting amplifier. So in the case of an inverting amplifier, non-inverting input is connected to ground. So voltage at the non-inverting input is equal to zero. So if V1 is the voltage at the non-inverting input and V2 is the voltage at the inverting input, V1 minus V2 is equal to VID. 
for an ideal operational amplifier vid is equal to 0 so in the case of an inverting amplifier v1 is equal to 0 as the non inverting input is connected to ground so 0 minus v2 is equal to 0 that means v2 is also equal to 0 so voltage at the inverting input is equal to 0 so inverting input is existing at ground potential but it is not connected to ground actually so the inverting input is said to be existing at virtual ground thanks for watching circuits analytica enjoy learning